Hi, and welcome to Doing Stuff with Lori. Um, I'm Lori, and I just want to say Happy New Year, because I am so happy it's 2024, because 2023 did not end so well for me. Um, I just wanted to share, I was on a roll. I was doing so well at doing my, my goal of one a week-ish for my vlog around San Francisco and doing stuff with Lori, but well, things have happened like um, first in November, um, I had a shoulder injury, which thank goodness was not serious, um, but it did keep me out of work for a few weeks, keep me out of work for a few weeks. And I, um, when I started back at work again in December, um, that is the busiest time of the year in the restaurant business. Um, it's holiday parties left and right. Um, well, at the beginning of December, things really took a turn because I had a fire in my apartment. Um, if you notice the background from previous episodes, um, is very different. It's because I'm living with my neighbor now. I'm, uh, in my upstairs, na upstairs neighbor's house, um, or apartment, if you will. Uh, she has a two bedroom flat, um, and was able to take me in, luckily, uh, me and my cat, um, Lana is fighting with her cat a little bit, but it's kind of funny. Anyway, it's been a long two months and I was so happy to have that arbitrary day of New Year's Eve today when the year magically changes um, because it was, it's, it, I'm looking at it as a new opportunities in the new year. Um, I figure that, and I don't want to say it couldn't get much worse, knocking on wood, but um, I, I like to hope that the rest of all that is behind me for now and I can move forward and make progress. Uh, one, one positive from this is that, well, um, I managed to save the two animals that me and my neighbor, my new roommate have. Um, and I was taking care of a, a friend's a friend. One of my friends is a teacher. She wanted somebody to watch her dogs during the daytime. So I had the dogs in my apartment. I had moved my cat upstairs already. So I was up here watching, petting my cat before I went to work. And uh, the I smelled a campfire and I looked out the light well from the kitchen where I was in and saw some smoke coming from the downstairs. And I know that was my apartment area. So I ran downstairs, um, went through the room and was pitch black. Um, luckily I know my own apartment. So I ran all the way out to the light at the end of the door and the, uh, from the kitchen to the backyard in no time flat but and the dogs had managed to get the door open all the way and get out to the backyard so her dog survived and my dog survived or my dogs my cat and her cat survived upstairs and she is a night nurse and she had taken some sleeping medication when she finished her shift at eight o'clock and i had a hard time getting her out of bed but I managed to convince her by telling her that there were some really hot firemen that were about to break her door down and see her in all her skivvies. <laughs> if you don't know what skivvies are, well, that all of her nightwear, um, they might, she might not want that. So she got up and got dressed and got out of the house. Unfortunately, my landlady, who is a elderly 90 year old woman, lived on the top floor walk up. Um, and the fire department firemen um, requested that she walk down the stairs and open the door for them instead of climbing in the window and helping her down. Um, she unfortunately broke her foot and is now living with her one of her sons. Um, and I, I don't know if she'll ever be back here, honestly. Um, so bad news, but I like to take New Year's as the new possibilities. Um, I'm not trying to build new habits or do anything like that. It's been a lot of survival mode for the last month, um, including 13 days with no electricity. 
um, where we didn't want to kennel our cats and, you know, our landlords would have to have paid for the hotels if we'd stayed in a hotel, but we couldn't find one in beginning of December in San Francisco because people come here for the holidays. So uh, there wasn't a much accommodations available anyway, especially none that would take animals. And therefore we decided to squat in our own building um, with no electricity. We had hot water and uh, uh, gas to cook on the stove. Um, so luckily we you know, made it work, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I managed to cook about 16 gallons of sauces and soups, all the stuff that was gonna go bad in the fridges and the freezers from both me and my new roommate. <laughs> But um, on the positive, whenever it will be, hopefully in the next six months, but probably not sooner than that. Uh, so by my birthday, hopefully in May, end of May, <laughs> I'm hoping to have my apartment back, but we shall see. Um, in the meantime, um, the restaurant business dries up in San Francisco and most other places as well in January, February, and March. So therefore, I'm not only looking for more work, um, but I'm also I'm also living with somebody and their house. So and it's it's it is what it is. Um, I just wanted to give everybody an update. I would love for um, everybody to put their positive energy out to the universe for me. Pray whatever you want to call it for um, new possibilities for me. I would like to make a street food um, and be a vendor on at farmer's markets maybe, or I would really love to have um, my own restaurant again. And if you have not had the opportunity to eat my food before or watch any of my cooking, sh cooking stuff on uh, YouTube, on doing stuff with Lori, I'm hoping that I have a bigger kitchen here. I'll be able to film it a little bit better and maybe um, be mostly cooking possibility. But what I'd really, really like is to have my own restaurant or bistro, um, Italian style. Um, I have celiac disease, as I've mentioned in a few videos, and I would love for that to be San Francisco's first and only at this point celiac restaurant, um, which everybody can eat if you, you know, don't like wheat, rye and barley, you can eat it anytime. But honestly, it's, uh, those are the only three things that the celiac has to avoid. And it'll be a completely devoid of those in any or restaurant I have. But I don't have any money and I'm in a very bad situation at the moment financially because of the lack of work. Um, Luckily, I'm not paying rent right now, and that gives me a little bit of an option to maybe stretch things a little further. So if you have any angel investors in mind, please send them my way. I'm more than happy to tell them all about my ideas and then propose my business plan to them. So please keep me in mind. Um, but uh, either way, um, that's my update. Uh, <laughs> next time, I'll have more video with me actually cooking or oh one other silver lining of this is my new roommate has given me the go ahead to redo some rooms in her house and i am going to paint a lot so i might be flexing my interior design muscles and uh and gracing those on this uh, this uh site as well so please stay tuned in the future wish me luck and send me luck and Remember, keep in mind those angel investors and send them my way. Uh, I hope everybody has a totally amazing 2024. Um, I think that we've all been kind of mark marking time for a few years now and struggling to stay afloat in a lot of ways, mentally, um, mentally and emotionally a lot of times, but um, I'm, 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 I'm with us all for getting through this. So, um, bless everybody and I will see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in.